Okay, so this is a second try on this. Um, trying to get updating, trying to get updating, updating org mode. Um, so the version that you get installed with org mode by default is not the most up to date. And um, you can use use package to install it, but we want our uh, config to be more portable. So any system that we get it installed on. So this is how you get that to work. And it's not what that be. Okay. And what this is going to do is we I want to say that we want to use use the package org. We want to pin it to the repository, the official repository for org, instead of the one that's bundled with Emacs. And by using ensure org plus contrib, it's going to look for that package instead of, and we're going to get org mode from org plus contrib. Okay. And this is, now we can run this. I've d I deleted everything from my, uh, all the packages that were installed before, so I can run this. And it's going to now work. See, that's contacting org mode. And it's going to download all a bunch of stuff. And this guy asked me, well, to save my buffer. Sure, why not? Don't remember changing anything here. Ah, lots of warnings, but it should be fine. Uh, okay, so I should have done this before, but now if we run org version, you can see that we are using the version from uh, that I was just installed. So this is version 9, the one that came from 9 something, 9.114. The one that comes from that came pre-installed with Emacs was eight something, so that gives us org updated. Now you can see that to get this to not install when I update it, when I opened up Emacs, I said tangle no, and that meant that it didn't save it to my init.el. So let's change this now, and okay, so that I did that. So let's see if we can. I think there should be a get. No, there should be a. I get stage this stage file and then we can hit my get commit right great okay and Now we're going to make a commit using this version of org mode. Okay, now something else that I would like to do is get these, you see how these code snippets, they aren't formatted nice for org. So we can do this here. Let's see, let's get a code block going. X. Um, why is my auto complete not working? That's weird. Why do I not? Ah, it doesn't have auto complete because it's not in, enabled here. It would only be enabled inside of um. Okay. Um, so there is one that uh, what is it? It is set Q org uh, use native something like that. Use uh, what is this? What is it? What is it? Quantify a native org quantify source quantify a native source 
quantify natively. And we want this to be true. Now let's run that. And we're done here. And you see now that my, that's where this one's nice and Hmm. Sorry. This one, you see that it has a nice, uh, the code highlighting from from Emacs list. This one still has the old one. Um, don't remember how to get the org to redo it, but if I go into this, and now we see it down here, and then we go back. Okay, now it looks fine. Usually, if I open from the buffer from the beginning, I'll actually do that. I'll kill the buffer. Now, this I would actually like to be inside of the inside of this use package statement. But it will look really nasty in the. It will look really nasty inside of uh, if we split it up like this. So I have to figure out how to actually get this inside of the use package statement without having doing something ugly like taking the parentheses out and putting it down here inside of another begin something else. Like I could do something like this and then just have a closing parentheses here. But that's just terribly ugly. And also, if I go and I try and do the um, this, you see, that's just stupid. That's not useful at all. So we have to figure out a better way of making that work. But for now, this is going to be all right. Because this is just setting a configuration. And org mode from the, at the beginning is going to be loaded anyway. And OK, let's widen the buffer. Let's see if that gives us. Let's see if our other guys looked out. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, nope, these ones are still, uh, this is really strange. So half of them came up and half of them didn't. So sometimes it seems to work nice and sometimes it doesn't. But you see now that it is <clears throat> marked with a nice code highlighting from, from Emacs Lisp. And I assume that if I do down here something else, let's see, not like that, but like this, and let's uh, make it shell, not shell, and dash. Now we can do something like home. Yeah, you see here now we've got a nice. That's not actually a good. Where PHP, okay, PHP will work. I'll give us, and it does the code highlighting that we have set up. So that's nice. Okay, now let's get back. Let's make a commit from this. And it's uh, okay. That's fine. I have source highlighting. In org well first. And let's figure out fix our highlighting. That and we're going to make a remember a branch type of branch. It is gonna be a spin-off branch. So let's see down here. Spin-off branch. S. And what we're doing, we are episode nine. I don't remember what they called them. I think I called it episode nine. Org mode update and nice code fonts. And let's push it up. Push remote. And let's push it up to origin. 
And now you can go and take a look at that branch on my GitLab page. And you can see the code that we did for this. And I'll just check it back and put it in to branch. Uh, check out clean up and merge I'll fast forward yeah let's take a look at that log nice push them up I could actually be using tags for this too uh, to say which uh, which episode we're talking about but I like using the spin-off branch I think it's a nice it's a nice idea and here then I can also if I later want to check this out I can also move the tags later but I could push it also this branch and then re put it in there okay so that's how you get nice looking fonts in org mode and make sure that you're using the newest version uh, soon I really need to get into I want to say talking about um, projectile and um, ivy, which are some nice things. And I really, so I can get moving over to my to using this for my everyday work. I want, I need to get all the PHP configurations that I use installed. Okay, so let me know how this worked. This was uh, my second try getting this one working. Um, yep, yeah, so call to.